do a quick stream. Just rotate my camera because it's easier. So we have this uh, quick example of quick example of a neural network training. So I have this is sinusoid that uh, we are trying to predict its shape. So for example, if, if it was the stock market or something, we could have try and predict it where it's gonna go next. Lots of fun. You can control your parameters from here. So the training set size, currently there was, uh, I think, 18 uh, data points by default. You can increase it, say, to 30. The number of hidden uh, layers. A uh, first hidden layer, second hidden layer. And you can also change the noise level. So say, let's keep it at 0.5. Let's see how the neural net is learning. That's essentially its uh, performance. In uh, green, the error trend is getting to point, is it point 0.2, not point 0.1. And that's the prediction result. So if we add, say, more uh, layers, let's see if it does any better. Then we could also check how it's uh, performing in uh, noise. It's all... Uh, running in the javascript uh, so when deployed on the website it will be running in your browser there's a couple things that we need to fix before publishing this so currently the styling for this page is not great well because uh, it stretches the text and the uh, Everything else doesn't really fit the page. No, it does, but it's, um, yeah, it's still a bit funny. Yeah, you can keep uh, changing uh, parameters on the fly. Yeah, so we expect the uh, lower performance with low with less uh, data points in the training set. Yeah, so it's essentially not uh, being able to converge. Takes some time as well to the way. Yeah, we really need the bot to if fix this for us. Let's reboot the page. You can do some musical music breaks, music breaks. Do you like this music or not? Let me know. I don't have a CEO or anything talking in my ears, just me monitoring the sound from another device. Just to make sure I'm using the correct uh, microphone. 
Okay, so how do we improve this thing? First of all, when we use GPT-4, we can code. Uh, we have um, a GitHub Copilot there as well. And uh, just go. Oops, commented out the JavaScript instead of the CSS. Okay, now it's better. Yeah, the CSS does something to the charts. Which I don't like I only have charts once over there and uh, we'll fix it later should have GPT or as well and pop in the HTML and JavaScript now question is what in the HTML controllers is not currently being used in JavaScript. There's several controllers for the neural network configuration, which uh, values are not being used so this is would be the activation function a optimizer a box batch size we have the activation function option relu sigmoid uh, done Optimizer, Adam, CGD, Ada Grad, those are standard uh, options. And the loss function is being calculated by mean squared error, mean absolute error, or mean squared logarithmic error. And this is not currently being implemented. So we have to change our JavaScript. the train model function so we're currently looking only at the uh, training size a uh, hidden layer size and the uh, second layer size we need to add activation optimizer loss function epochs the number of epochs and batch size a this constant model We'll take uh, the activation as well. Then we have a model compile that will take the optimizer and the loss function. Uh, 
and what else what else I'll compile get the training data can remain the same That the error trend chart yeah what about the error trend chart yeah we need to regenerate the Can we regenerate the whole train model async function? Currently, epochs and batch size the variables are not being used. Let's see if it can do that. So, obviously, we're using a GPT full disclosure. It's rewriting this uh, train model. Shall we split it into train model and update charts and as uh, separate functions? I think it's actually doing it already. It's way too smart. Dynamic training configuration now using epochs and batch size correctly. Controlling the training loop and the number of samples per gradient update, respectively. Doing a chart management as a separate thing. Okay, shall we? A comment this whole function out where would this go let's pop it in there make sure All the functions are uh, used. Um, okay, that's not cool box must be a much uh, large uh, number where's the training stuff training stuff is not visible do we need the music break to relax Good thing about the uh, GPT four is that we can do this. Okay, 
Okay, there are a couple of problems. Uh, first of all, the training data is not visible on the top uh, chart. Uh, many other issues any other issues the batch size Why is this not updating? Training that should be visible on the top chart. Data training set being correctly plotted. We have Fox a learning rate. Hey, can we fix the original thresholds? and default values in the HTML. So the whole thing works better. And make sure that the training uh, data is uh, actually visible on the top chart. That would be nice. to fix the following JavaScript code as well. Okay, let's do HTML adjustments first. So the learning, the learning rate, and uh, the minimum value can be reduced. Maximum value point three. Actual value point oh one. The number of epochs needs to be increased. 
a max of 1000 minimum then let's go for a value of uh, 100 A batch size let's go between ten and one hundred. Twenty a default. In JavaScript, train model might be a problem with that. Okay, we have reset charts. Have the training loop. Ah, the training loop, training loop. Date. This goes. Oops. Uh, don't get it. I don't get it. And now we have the training data. It's not quite a sinusoid, is it?
Hey, we won't prompt just uh, sometimes it just needs the correct the uh, data and we'll see if it uh, it makes a difference the training time blue line is now visible so that's great the training and prediction lines are not overlapping, which might indicate the model predictions are not uh, aligning with the training data. This could be several reasons. Well, also, the training data should be a sinusoid. That's a bit odd that it isn't. Also, any idea why the training data is not a sinusoid? How to fix the code? It used to be a sinusoid before. A get training data function incorrect data generation we are regenerating the get training data have this size as an import can't really see The difference was Train model function. We're not plotting it correctly, are we? We prepare the training data. Then we need to plot it.
something wrong. Every time you're asking it something, it's generating a new function. Uh, which is not great. Okay, we also need to Uh, get rid of that.
initialize chance and not define what. If uh, GitHub Copilot can fix this quickly. Okay, I'll be finishing up in a sec. Let me know if there's any questions about bindingchaos.com. If you haven't checked it already, please go do so. You will be supporting the project this way. I'll say bye-bye. Some music. <laughs>